This is Gilles, radio proper, with our radio operations interrupted by a brush fire. <laughs> uh, I was going to set up, and my friends were already set up, and uh, I noticed on the way up that there was a small brush fire. I didn't think anything of it. I mean, uh, people were calling the uh, firefighters, and all of a sudden, those three helicopters show up, the Bell UH, UH-1, and uh, they started uh, doing a rotation, and it's constant. I think there's a lot of wind here and the uh, problem is the fire is spreading so we have to take off and go somewhere else. Looks like we found a pretty good spot here so I'm going to uh, set up my antennas. This is part two of the uh, spider beam of center fed dipole review. I'm going to install the antenna here and uh, put the mast on one of those trees. The antenna is attached to uh, that bush right in the uh, center. Goes up here, probably won't see it because it's so thin. The uh, spider beam 12 meter mast and down the other side attached to another bush over there in the center. The antenna is uh, typical of uh, any portable installation. Though I have to use this uh, adapter here for BNC which doesn't work too well, so I have to be really careful about this adapter and check the SWR, but uh, of course I'm not going to use my VRM5080 I'm going to set up my Minion SDR right here I will do a scan of the whole HF band of the antenna, we'll see how that comes out Here's the scan for the whole of HF The uh, first dip is slightly below 7 MHz It would have been better to have it slightly above and it's about 2.5 to 1 SWR. The next two dips for 20 and 15 meters respectively are about 1.7 to 1 and 2 to 1 SWR. Only the uh, 10 meter dip has a near perfect SWR. Now of course it's pretty difficult to adjust an antenna like this one to cover all these bands and I suspect that my bad BNC adapter might be the cause of the uh, bad SWR. But again, you know, it seems to be good on 10 meters. So what does that say? Once again, it can be environmental, but it's certainly not perfect. 17 and 6 meters can be covered with a tuner. I forgot to check 12, but I suppose it's about the same thing. Bonjour, ici F4 Whisky Bravo Yankee Portable QRP. Oui, bonjour, ici F4 Whisky Bravo Yankee. F4 Whisky Bravo Yankee. En portable dans les Alpes-Maritimes. Oui, ok. Euh, Foxtrot 4, Whisky, Bravo, Yankee, ça passe bien. Ça passe bien, 55 ici, hein, 55 euh, dans la région de Lausanne, au-dessus du lac Léman, pas très loin de Genève. 55, le prénom est Christophe. Christophe, le prénom, je vous passe le micro. Foxtrot 4, Whisky, Bravo, Yankee. Hôtel Bravo 9, Tango, Juliette, Mike, à votre écoute. 
Merci beaucoup Christophe. Euh, pareil ici, un très bon signal. Euh, donc je suis en portable sur, à la Gréolière. La Gréolière, euh, c'est un sommet ici au nord de Nice. Euh, donc euh, j'utilise un, une radio QRP euh, Mignon SDR avec euh, quelques watts et euh, une, une dipôle euh, asymétrique. Euh, QSL Ouais, QSL. Hein. QSL, ah ouais, le Mignon SDR. Hein, ça, je vais noter parce que j'avais vu ça il y a quelques années. Euh, j'avais vu ça il y a quelques années sur Internet et j'avais trouvé le, le système sympa. Hein. En tout cas, ça fonctionne bien. Il y, a, il y a comme un écho de votre modulation, je ne sais pas pourquoi. Ça fait un, un genre d'écho. Alors, est-ce qu'il y aurait un, un retour à chef dans le microphone et puis... Euh, il y a un petit délai avec le, le, traitement, le, le traitement digital, hein. c'est pas impossible, mais ça rend pas la liaison euh, pénible, hein. il n'y a pas de problème, mais euh, c'est assez particulier. Merci Christophe, hein, bah effectivement une excellente, un excellent QSO, hein. c'est pas très souvent qu'on peut avoir de, de bonnes conversations comme ça, qui ne sont pas simplement euh, euh, 73, euh, 59 euh, <rire> et au revoir. Donc euh, effectivement très content de, de faire euh, votre connaissance et d'avoir un QSO comme ça de qualité. Hein. Très très bien. Hein. Unfortunately I'm not hearing anything on 15 meters, I think the band is closed, there is no propagation there at the moment. Uh, there was earlier, even on 10 meters, but uh, nothing right now. So maybe I'll try 17. There is one German station, it seems, on uh, 18165, but it's kind of weak. So I'm not going to pursue that. It does have a little bit of RF feedback, of course, it's uh, an asymmetrical antenna, so better used with a choke, and I would highly recommend to use it with an RF choke. Uh, that should be no problem at all but i had a really good signal in switzerland so on 40 meters uh, so clearly this antenna works well uh, no problem with that of course the rf current issue uh, with all asymmetrical dipoles uh, depending also on the environment and of course the fact that i had a, a bad bnc adapter uh, that's clearly didn't help Now, I don't know why manufacturers keep on uh, wanting to use, uh, I think it's SO239, PL159, I'm not sure <laughs> what the names are, but most QRP radios are, uh, you know, use BNC connectors. Uh, military radios use BNC connectors. I don't know why manufacturers don't start to offer BNC connectors to their, uh, you know, for their antennas, especially portable antennas. And I've seen that, uh, you know, again and again. Uh, I don't know why people are not widely adopting BNC because BNC is really, really good. It's a great connector, can handle, uh, you know, a lot of power and uh, will not unscrew and you <laughs> will not disconnect. Uh, it's smaller. Uh, I don't know. I see many advantages to, uh, to BNC connectors and the military does as well. That's why they're using them. That's why QRP radios are use, using them. So I don't know. Antenna manufacturers, just, just, just get on board with BNC, please. <laughs> We're all waiting for that. Uh, as to spider beam, uh, I'm really happy with the antenna, except for the fact that uh, there are no connectors on the uh, ballon. Uh, that's a big no-no for me, but um, you know maybe they'll change that, who knows. And I wish, of course, they had a BNC connector on the antenna as well, on the ballon. Uh, but other than that, uh, you know, seems to work really well. So thumbs up. Have a good one.